Hello everyone, this video is an updated video on how to trade options fast using Webull. Now in my past reviews, I do have some bad reviews about Webull that's mostly about trading stocks using Webull. Now options, I'm very impressed with Webull. They have some awesome buttons and hotkeys that you can use to get in and out of options trades very fast. I'm still not the biggest fan of their charting, so I use Thinkorswim or TradingView for charting, but I am actively using Webull for options trading. Now options are a great way to grow a small account. So if you're interested in learning more about my strategies on growing a small account or any account really, be sure to head over to TraderCreatorPro.com to check out the webinar and some free things that I give out that I'm constantly changing. So just go to TraderCreatorPro.com, check out the website and sign up for that webinar. Now let's jump into Webull. Okay, so here is my Webull platform. So over here on the left side, I use two level twos. This is mostly for stock trading or when I wanna be just watching the level two of whatever stock. And then I can click on the level two to quickly buy or sell using the level two. Now I can also do that using the active trade here. I can click buy or sell, or I can click this and it will change it to whatever number I put here. If I wanna buy a thousand, I can put it in like that. And then this is the same thing over here. Um, I've also got the trade tab on both of these. So I can put in a price if I would like or a stop and a take profit order. So an OCO order. Then I've got the times and sales as well. And I just kind of click between those as I'm trading stocks, but I typically don't trade stocks using Webull just because of the buying power is ridiculous, especially with shorting. And then this is my main trading area right here. You can see they're all highlighted because they are all connected with the same group. So starting over here, we've got the level two. And then this right here is the same as these three. So I've got the active trade, except for you can I can do options on these ones. Times and sales, and then the trade, where I can put in a limit price. Something else cool about this is I can click this, and I can say I want it to just stay on the ask. And it'll just change with the ask or I can say follow the bid and it'll change with the bid. So that's kind of a cool feature here with the trade, but I like to use the active trade and I can just put in however many I want here and then use these buttons. Now let's go over those buttons. So you go to the active trade settings here. These ones right here are for stocks. So the buttons will only work for stocks. These buttons here work for options. So this will work for all options. Something to note is that the buy market one, it doesn't really work because Webull doesn't let you buy market on most options contracts, which is really annoying, but that's okay. Um, I just use the buy ask instead. And if you really want to make sure you get filled, maybe just bump up your offset here, but you're not guaranteed to fill with any limit order. You can also throw in your hotkeys here. So just type in your hotkey and it'll work with whatever you want to do. Make sure that this is highlighted on when you do your hotkey, because if you're on the wrong one, you might be buying or selling the wrong one. Um, but I just like the buttons, honestly. So I usually use the buttons, not the hotkeys, even though I do have the hotkeys set up. Something else to note is that the order that you click these in is the order that they will show up here. So for example, say that I want it to be like all the buys over here and all the sells over here. What I'm going to want to do is come over here, I'm just gonna unclick them all. Uh, I'm gonna do buy bid, sell ask, buy ask, sell bid, buy customized, sell customized. So then I've got the bid, ask, mid, and I've got it just red and green on each side. Just know that you can't like drag and drop them. It's the way you click them. The sell market button does work. You can sell market, but you might as well just use the close button. I mean, unless you're trying to sell a certain amount but usually if I'm using a market order, I'm just trying to get out completely. So I would just use the close button, but that's all, just, that's all up to you. Something kind of annoying is they don't have one that's cancel all options. They only have stock. In order to cancel your order, there's a couple ways to do that and I'll show you in a minute. Then right here, I've got my watch list. I'll show you how I use that. Then we've got my working orders and filled orders here. This is really nice just to see what orders are live. And then your positions here. Up here, I keep my order entry and then just some other tabs like news, quotes, top active stocks, the top 
the top gainers and top losers. I actually don't even really go through those very often, but they're just there. I usually leave it on the options section right here. So then I can quickly type in a stock up here. We'll just use SPY. And you'll notice that these shifted with it until I click on these. So first I can click the bid to do an order entry, or I can click the ask to do an order entry for to buy it. But if you click on like any of these other options that are white, it will throw it into the other windows. Because as you see right now, it still just has SPY as the stock in the chart and in the level two. But if I click like here, it changes it to the options contract. So make sure to click like on volume or open interest or delta, whatever you want. You can choose your options here. I just use these three volume, open interest and delta right now, just for my day trading. And then so you can just, you can quickly shift between the options contracts just like that. I mean, I can pull this up, click on one, come down here, hit the bid or ask and boom, I'm in. If I want to watch an options contract, what I'll do is I'll just right click, hit add to watch list options and now it's on my options watch list right here but you can add whatever ones you want to your watch list and then you can quickly scroll through your watch list so that's another feature that i really like now the newest feature is actually using chart trading with options contracts you used to not be able to do that so let's go to spy and i'm just gonna we're gonna make a quick trade here um we're going to buy these calls right here. So I can add it to my watch list or I can just trade it directly from here. Right now I have my default on the options as just one contract. So if I unclick this, it goes to one contract. And you want to make sure to have the order confirmation turned off if you don't want an order confirmation. However, if you're doing the same day options contracts, there is an order pop up that says, are you sure this expires today? I haven't found a way to get rid of that yet. That you just have to hit okay and then get in if you're doing a same day expiration contract. But let's hurry and just trade this. So I'm gonna hit buy the bid. Let's see if we get filled. Now, this is the part that's cool. So with uh, the chart trading, I can just drag it around. So now I have my limit order here at, at 86 cents rather than up there so i can just drag it wherever i want and that was actually a reason that i wanted to change back to thinkorswim because if i have an order here i can just drag it in the active trader and as of right now on october 7th 2021 you can't use the price ladder with options so if i use this with one i can't use it this is not available which this feature would be awesome because then you can just quickly change your order. But since they added it to the chart trading, I can just drag it around here. So that works just as well. So that's a new feature that has kept me using Webull actually so that I can quickly change my order rather than having to come down here and like right click, do modify and change it. And then also is definitely the fastest way to cancel your order because you can't use the cancel order down here in the active trade and you'd have to right click and hit cancel order, which I mean, that's decently fast, but clicking this X is definitely the fastest. So if I just do that, it's canceled. So let's just hurry and get filled on this real quick. I'm just gonna hit buy ask. So that's probably the fastest way to get filled is hitting buy ask like that. Let's say that we want to close this position is just hit close position that'll automatically pull up your order entry like this. I'll bump it up to whatever I want and say 96 cents is where I want to get out. And then I can just drag it around. Or of course I can just click any of these hotkeys and I can hit the close button. So close and we're filled, we're out and there's a quick trade. Um, but that's the nice thing about Webull, it's free. So I mean, that cost me nothing. So I hope that helps you with Webull and some of their features and being able to trade options fast using Webull. Again, be sure to go to tradercreatorpro.com, check out the webinar or whatever free things I'm giving out at the time, and I'll see you in the next video.